Hi there, I'm Anna and I work for Shropshire Museum's education team. I thought down here in the uh, Medieval and Tudor Gallery today that we'd look at how Tudor people ate from the richest to the poorest. So let's start with the rich ones first. This is a charger or plate which is made out of pewter. Um, if you've watched um, the video about goblets and so on already, you'll know that pewter actually has lead in it, which is a bit poisonous, so they had poisonous plates as well as poisonous cups. Anyway, they loved to eat meat. That was the main thing that they would eat, along with sugar and spices, which were very expensive and so were brilliant for impressing your friends. Vegetables, a complete no-no for poor people. And fruit, it's positively bad for you. Okay, for a, a slightly poorer person, then you'd eat off one of these, a trencher. This trencher is really simple to make and is made out of a really common material, wood. So this is a really cheap thing to eat from. Um, you would be eating something like a stew out of vegetables and bread from this. And if you were lucky, you might have a little bit of salt just here to sprinkle over your food. Now for both these people, they would be using um, a knife and a spoon to eat from. The knife and spoon would be made of pewter for a rich person and for a poorer person it would be made out of wood or bone. Okay, but if you were really poor then this is what you'd have because you were begging for scraps from a wealthy person's kitchen. They would give you this crust and this would become your plate and on this would be a few leftovers for you to eat. This crust, as you can see, is really dry and burnt. And this is the bottom crust of a loaf of bread as it's come out of the oven. So the cook would very cleverly cut off the really nasty bit and give the lovely upper crust, the top bit, to the posh people, his um, master mistress. So upper crust comes from that tradition, trimming off the nasty bit to give to the poor beggar who'd come to the door. The beggar wouldn't have a spoon or a knife. They would just use their fingers to eat the stew off the crust. And then they'd eat the crust, their plate, straight afterwards. So actually they had no washing up at all. <laughs> 